but a connect- This is meant to be a live event, people! We need lights! Where's the light man? Brian! Give me a fucking spotlight! All right, let's run through this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Famer Shame Live with your host, Laszlo! He does that, and then... Shit! Ow! And then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Uh, uh, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best, playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. <laughs> Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not, Sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party. And we need them wasted, and we need them dancing. Not taking selfies with some fuckwits. I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ. But, Tony, I, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Tony, can we hug? 
Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right. And, all right. and Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He says a DJ to Booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am gonna fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room, lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying. Whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here, your whole entourage, whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs, Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name Tony's Funhouse. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> oh, it's my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. So how you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Yeah, how's a kite, Dave, and cursing fate? And you? Oh, never better, old son, never better. <laughs> One love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha! A proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh... Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mmm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you gotta get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. Things are going well down there, kid. Good to see you in here! Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling.
Okay then. Good to be on board. That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. He can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. He's a clever boy. I can't believe I'm going to work in a dance club. Or a warehouse underneath a dance club. I don't even like dance clubs. But it sounds a whole lot cooler than a sorting warehouse. Or however else you'd explain this setup. Are you from the club? Thanks for the pickup. You're the partner, right? And hey, who's this guy? I'm Johan. Is Marcel on board? He'll handle all security and the whole front of house setup. Used to be I would work the velvet rope, but that's a young man's game. Marcel here has a laser eye for good people and bad. He'll make sure all the right kids are coming in and the wrong ones are staying out. Your security, huh? You, uh, you look it. Yeah, you want any of your friends to get in, I'm the guy to speak to. Oh, sure, thanks. You think with this DJ, it's gonna be hard? Solomon? 50% of Los Santos is gonna be lined up outside, and I'm gonna send 90% of those fools away. Cool, cool. I love it when someone other than me feels inadequate and judged. I can't tell you how psyched I am to be working the bar at your club. And shit, Marcel's on board. And sorry, I don't know you. Hey, babe. Hey, Johan. You got Connie, the liquor lady? At the bar, we're keeping it simple. Beer, shots, champagne, of course, and some really top drawer whiskeys. This girl does simple better than anyone else in the business. Doing simple really fucking well is an art form. You'll see. So is this everyone? Hey. Are we going to work? Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. We all are. The warehouse is gonna be pretty sweet too. The network they set up is like lightning. Um... Okay... Hey, look! This is it! All right. This cat owns the place! Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival, ritual sacrifice. 
I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above. But they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party. So get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. Music, kind of song they make those internet fail videos too. Get selfish. Get real. Get, get, get you. Self radio.
All right, all right, very, 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 lift it up, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, come here, look at this, I love it. Tony's Funhouse, what do you think? I think it's 100! <laughs> oh, Woo! what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing tracers. I am the opening DJ, get the crowd bumping, get the millennials boys with the wooka wooka wooka. Oh, go away. What? Go get me some celebrities for opening night. Put them up in the VIP lounge if you have to, but you will not be DJing. Ha-ham! <laughs> My glow stick. Oh, now, let me show you what we got ready for you. Come downstairs. Now remember, I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity, but if you need my help, Anytime. Count on me. Now, this place is fully operational, huh? I don't do the tax returns, and I don't deal with whatever goes on down here. Now, I'm just a club manager, but if you happen to, say, fill it with some, uh, various products of your illicit businesses, I could probably help you sell them. Hmm? All, right, all right, now, everything else on the computer over there, and in the office. Shall we head upstairs? Here's our private office. The computer where you'll run things? My desk is over here. Hear no evil, see no evil. <laughs> Good, all right, let's go get a quick drinky at the bar. Brave. Brave, mate. Think of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And brave. Ain't it amazing? Hello, Tone. Ah. Sniff. Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby, four shots. Good news. The big European is on the wing. Private, of course. Spared no expense, as you're paying. Well, it was a cheap plane, but whatever. Should we go and pick him up? And when you get back, we shall have ourselves a little party. Yeah. Here's to Tony's Funhouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see you shortly. You right, Laz? A little fucked up. <laughs> Solomon's coming to LSIA. Let's get out there, all right? This city, don't know what's about to happen to it. Solomon, our Slavic saviour. There will be rhythm, there will be groove, and above all else, there will be feels. No one does emotional like that Balkan beast. Believe! Bring the tears to check. No! <laughs> a two-hour Solomon set's done more for me than ten trips to rehab. And I don't know how long on a couch talking to a head shrinker. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Let's get started. Hey, look. What are you doing with that place? Tony's fun house. Proper naughty. About time, too. Los Santos needs some nightlife. I mean, as much as I love hitting the toot with lonely old rich guys in their hills, but it's getting a bit. Hey, hold on. Solly, I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's Mr. Runway? No, he can't be passed out. Not with all them uppers in his system. Get up there and do something. Push some buttons! Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just press one, it's what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. Uh, whoa! Sir, that's not oh. making me very proud. Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I, I got it, I got Whatever it. Whatever you press before. All right, okay, cool. Don't press it, okay. Proper bad juju, mate. We might be about to lose our DJ. Follow that private jet. Downtown, head downtown. Solomon, you're gonna need to get it together, old son. Where is the man I love? Cool as a cucumber, while the rest of us are losing it. Getting proper rowdy. That's the Solomon on me right now. The miracle worker, the man who saved my bacon and my soul. Take control, Sol. You've got this, boy. Lovely, lovely. You up there? Very nice. Now, you watch telly, don't you? Streaming, whatever. 
then you've seen it done a million times. Grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing. What? Shit, you all right? Oh, thank God for that. Now, you know what not to do, okay? Point the stick again and keep the sky up there. The earth down here, eh? He's over Legion Square. Easy does it. All right. Easy does it. Mellow vibes. Keep it proper mellow, mate. Fucking chill. Monday afternoon. On the beach. Recovery mode. Dreamscape. Pan pipes. Know what I mean? Now give the pilot a kick, all right? Still out? Bollocks. They've left the city. Get on the freeway. What are any instructions about? Uh, a manual? No? How about I find? Search it. I mean, on your phone. I know you're on the phone, but I thought... Don't get shirt with me, my son. I'm not the one about to crash a plane. I'm trying to help. So, so, be smart now. You sure you want to do that? Flying's one thing, putting it down's another. Solomon? Solomon? Shit in my pocket. The bugger's going to try and land it. Follow him. Bolingbroke Pen, the psycho. Shit, he's almost at Sandy Shores. The maniac's going for the airfield. Solly is playing a blinder here. Boy, Dave, where did you find the pilot? Oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. Let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. Right, driver. Drive on. Let's get to the club. Show him his digs. You all right, son? To be honest, Dave, that was pretty intense. That's it, big man. What doesn't kill you, right? I've never been in a plane crash, I grant you, but I've had some bad trips, me, and I always find a spiritual path. Next time you hire the pilot, see how you like being in a plane crash. He was excited to see you, so You may have overindulged this all. You have that effect on people. They get intimidated. Anyway, bygones and all that. Have a glass of wine, put some tunes on, hit a vape. It's legal after all. You'll be right as rain. <laughs> no, no, I'm cool, OK? Excited to play, Les. Hey, you met this guy? Owns Tony's Fun House. I thought it was Tony. Ah, Tony's the looks. This one's the brains. Good to meet you. You must be pretty cool. 
Coolest cat in town. Genius brain, too. Just look at them there, thinking. Ah, you guys will get along swimmingly. Let's have some fun. It's going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. And me too, me old mucker. Me too. In a way, you wankers are lucky, right? Didn't have dance music culture to begin with. And see it go to shit. London. The state of London, mate. Every decent venue stripped out, turned into a sushi joint. Can't eat a spider roll without staring at some exposed brickwork I chucked up on in the early 90s. My bat suits. Oh, they were some good pills, but Christ alive did they make me chuck it. And here we are. Me casa, su casa, their casa. They don't know what they're in for. Come on, let's do it. All right, follow me. Right this way. OK, make way for talent. Celebrity a walking. <laughs> hey, mind how you go, Twinkle Toes. Just down here. Here we go. Very Watch good. out, Thanks. Alpine. Solomon, hey. baby, come here. Oh. Yeah, sorry, my flight was delayed. He's a little shaky, but he's going to be all right. I'm sorry I never met you, but I'm a massive fan. Massive fan. Me too, uh, Solomon. Oh, Big days. Actung. Yo, I've got some serious ED. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. No, no, no. EDM, EDM. I made a whole USB of tracks that I produced. <laughs> this is Laszlo. High ten. <laughs> too slow. Uh, wait. Come on. Right, shall we? I'm a DJ too. I, I spend a lot of you know birthday parties for kids to make extra money. Um, uh, uh, because I can't always pay my rent because I live in a mansion. I'm a baller. Uh, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm a, I'm a celebrity. People love me. Come on. I love big pretzels like you people. Ah, here it is. We've done it. The party. We got the fucking party. We are the fucking party. Excuse me. Ah, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And downstairs, fully operational, whatever you want it. Tony! Hey, baby. That's a nice dress. <laughs> the timeless class of latex. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Jesus, tonight at the opening of Tony's Fun House! Yeah, Los Santos has finally figured out how to party again. You're gonna join me, DJ Laszlo, in welcoming my very best friend. I discovered him in Ibiza, which is in the Netherlands. The set was amazing. He is starting his first ever residency in the United States in this club, all right? Please, all of you, give it up for the one, the only, Solomon! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> let me know if you want me to MC. Oh, uh, let me think about it. Okay, great. He wants me to beatbox. I'm gonna fucking get laid. I'm gonna be down here with the chicks. Fucking grind it, bro. Molly, bro. Molly! Hey, I'm working. Huh? 
I promise. Marcel told me you're taking care of Sleeping Beauty. But what I hear, this guy is long past the point of going home. Take him to the hospital. People dying from a good time in your club is social media fucking suicide. Trust me. An exciting career in microfinance. You are very smart. You see, these days, there is so much left that is unsaid. Like lost. It's so good to be back. Right, Joe? Yeah. Oh, I just did some asking around, and this guy is a sustainability manager and an environmental consultant for Globe Oil. Do you have any idea how wealthy and sadistic those kind of people are? So yeah, please, don't let him die. And if we ever needed friends with a stake in the price of gas, it's now. free to share that with others. Uh, what? This is lunacy. Your hostility is really depressing, Laszlo. You see clearly, Michelle. Laszlo, there's a mountain up there. Let me show you the way. Now listen, dude. I've been to the mountaintop, okay? I've been to a lot of concerts and done a lot of drugs. I've been up there, okay? I had a top-rated talent show on TV and a nationally syndicated talk show. I've been an anodyne heterosexual Tony Prince. I believe in one thing only, my relentless ability to screw up. One stupid word, one inappropriate comment, one touch, and an innocent caress between colleagues. You know, 
And it begins again. Okay, bye. Listen down. Your ratings come down a bit. The groupies, they start to get older and chunkier and have that weird fat girl smell. You appear in commercials for worse and worse cars, and suddenly you're not the spokesperson for an expensive Swiss watch, but for some swingers resort in Guatemala or a war zone. You're on the way down, so you get desperate. You do, you do more and more insane things for ratings. You don't care, but it's no good. The public doesn't love you anymore. Nobody loves you. There's a, a great hole of lovelessness inside you. You're just a shell. Nobody cares. Your, your friends are more successful than you. They, they won't call you back. They, they don't even re-bleach you anymore. Yeah, your life invader friends start to go down. The, the private members clubs tell you that you're no longer welcome because you tried to speak to a movie star there. Well, I was a star once, okay? I was, but it's no good. It just, it just, it keeps going down. It's okay. a lot later and get a t-shirt. prices? It's insane! It's like I'm back in 1981, only I'm 10 pounds heavier, and double denim still won't fucking die. That and the heat, people are going crazy out here. Which is good for business, right? 
But listen, Marcel's gonna be in touch. We gotta ride this wave. Kick out anyone going the wrong kind of crazy. Look after VIPs going the right kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, these are good problems to have. Okay, welcome to club management for the internet banking age. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Thank you, Data, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, easy-to-understand charts, like you're an idiot or an investment banker. For the club, popularity means feet are coming through the door. There's cash in the tills, and everyone's happy. For the warehouse, your techs will push your other businesses to generate illicit goods, and they'll all get stockpiled in here, your whole criminal empire under this one roof. The techs do the work buying, stealing, or producing, and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff, offloading illegal product, and bringing in nice, legal, laundered cash. Come through to the nightclub management tab and you'll see some more numbers if that's your kind of thing. But more importantly, you can run promotions for the club by hitting, you guessed it, promote club. 
the staff, the DJs, me, we'll all be doing everything we can to run a banging night. But to get the buzz, increase popularity, and bring in cash, we'll need to promote it. Run a job and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's where you book the talent. Any DJs Dave is talking to will show up here. Then you can choose who you want in residence. Solomon is killing it up there right now, but if you feel like you need to freshen things up, there are some options. Then this is the warehouse page. You'll see any and all of the illegal businesses you own registered here. Assign a warehouse tech to the product you want to stockpile, and they'll use your established network to bring that in. At no additional cost or effort to you. You've got one tech at the moment, but you can hire additional people for additional products on this page too. And now to the sell page. Your techs will get hold of the product, but you've still got to sell it. Either sell one product at a time, or offload all your stock, or if you want to make some real money, top buyers will have specific shopping lists of products, and they'll pay a premium if that whole order is filled. Most of the money goes to you, some goes to the club, of course. This is the upgrades page. Improve security or modernize some of the equipment downstairs. Whatever you need to increase productivity. And that's about it. Good luck. And remember, I didn't know any of this was going on. Okay, good to see you're doing something to keep this club running. The DJs play, I do my thing, Laszlo does his, I suppose, if that's a thing. And you've got to make sure Tony's Funhouse is the name on everybody's lips. You'll be spraying the word, keeping booze costs down, bringing the right people in, and keeping the wrong people out. And any of these jobs will have a direct effect on how well we're doing. I promise you. So.
The fly posters are everywhere. Three decades and two septums into this job, and it still excites me seeing them. I feel like a kid again. Good work. You're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Call again. Goodbye. Good one. I've set the nerve center up in your truck, and we are ready to go. Access the back of the terabyte, and I'll get you on the comm system to explain some things. And don't worry. I'll explain them slow.
You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's on the way. I'll get back to it then. I'm talking to you live from... You don't need a nowhere. This is your truck, a vehicle I designed and assembled, from the keyboards to the codes the systems run on. We should have everything in here we need to take down any score we want. To the rear, we've got a specialized vehicle workshop where you can modify your oppressor Mark II. Just jump on to modify or deploy directly from the terabyte. It's already a flying bike with twin machine guns, so it's pretty awesome to begin with. We could put a weapons workshop over here. For the kinds of jobs I have planned, you're gonna need some serious hardware. But I understand if you wanna wait and see. The workshop would allow you to buy and upgrade a range of weaponry into superior Mark II variants. Or make them look pretty, if that's what you're into. Now, that big touch screen in the center of the room is where you should really be looking. We'll QB everything we're doing from there. So, log on when you're ready, and I'll talk you through it. Welcome to my app. If working for an idiot has taught me anything, it's how to make things idiot-proof. So you get to run scores with software that's actually usable. How's that for a change? There should be some names up here you're familiar with. All the illicit businesses in Los Santos and Blaine County. What my little app does is allow you to hack into those businesses, if you own them. To run source or supply runs from the truck. You know, like, hack into disruption logistics for a gun running resupply. Or into secure a serve to source your desired cargo. You'll still need to return the stuff to the usual places, but it should save you a lot of travel time.
Hey, are you looking after this passed out guy? Well, from what I've been told, this isn't so much a taxi service as an ambulance ride, okay? Get him to the hospital. I just did some asking around, and this guy is a sustainability manager and an environmental consultant for Globe Oil. Do you have any idea how wealthy and sadistic those kind of people are? So yeah, please don't let him die. And if we ever needed friends with a stake in the price of gas, it's now.
wish I was back in Shotler. Hey, we need to grab a beer together, man. job for you. Crowds can smell if a club isn't right, and right now, our club isn't right. We've been robbed for a truck of booze. Get it, and we can get back to running this place properly. For some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Bring it to you. I, right, I'll get back to work.
I'm suffocating from all this great music. Let's hope you do too. Okay, the booze is back, and the people will be too. Believe me.
fucking paparazzi, am I right? Ooh, you know, there was a time in the 90s when I couldn't slip into the men's room without some fucking mouth breeder with a telephoto lens lying in wait for me. So when I get a call from one of our most valuable patrons saying she's been harassed by some freak show with a social media account calling himself an investigative journalist, I see red. Johan cooked up a virus that'll torch his hard drive and any cloud backups of the photos. Here's his address. Go deliver it. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? It's coming at you. All right, I'll get back to work.
Hey, Code Red, this little asshole has the original pics on his camera, and Johan says he's making a deal for them right now. Go wipe this shit stain and bring the camera back to me. Work. These photos can go into my closet or all the other fucking skeletons. <laughs> Seriously, it's getting crowded in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. I'll bring it by. Okay, I got stuff to do. Politicians are screwing us all over. It's time to take your weight problem seriously. It's time to stop pussy footing. Don't wait a minute. Don't try other methods. Try the gastro man. Don't for one second think you can do it on your own. We both know you can't. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten into this mess. Get real about your weight problems. What did he say? He said you have to buy the right books. Listen. Hand inserted today and watch your weight and problems melt away. Finally, you can be happy like normal people. It's time to put down the knife and fork and go under the knife and scalpel. Give up and get thin. Gastro band surgery. Remember, surgery solves everything. Society of one self
necessary. Hello. Okay, let me see if there's anything on the to-do list. Jesus! Okay, we need to do something big, something theatrical, something Vinewood, baby. We're promoting our DJ on the side of a blimp. Pick it up and fly it over the city. Everyone will know what's going on here.
They might think we're being big brash assholes, but now they'll all know about the club too. Good work. Something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. I, right, I'll get back to work. On the clock, what you want? Some wheels? It's coming at you.
Oh, hey, you want to get some celebs in here? <laughs> this might be our chance. Got a little tip that Lacey Jonas is in the back of a police wagon. <laughs> Who knows what she did this time. If we can get her out of there, she's probably so doped up on painkillers, she'll think she was on the way to the club already. Go get her while the opportunity's there. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay, I got stuff to do. All this excitement is causing my foundation to run! Not to be a diva or anything, but can you drive faster? God, I don't know how to thank you. <gasps> yes, I do. Money. Your people like that, right? I need to chillax a little. Do some dancing at a club. Inspire people with my presence. Your place is Tony's Funhouse, right? If people see me there, the place will be the shit. I can't believe those cops arrested me. So I crashed my sports car. I only ran because the paparazzi were coming. Those cops have had it out for me since I wouldn't perform at their dumb PBA convention. Ugh, bunch of creeps. People think I'm just a girl in the cheerleader movies, but I give girls hope. They someday can have millions of fans and spend their time creating a narrative that Fame makes you happy. I give a lot of money away, you know. Like, I make a difference. Orphans, manatees, a monkey hospital. It's 
hard being like so generous and a humanitarian like all the time. But it's important. I am so psyched to see Solomon. I'm sure he'll invite me to the after party. Finally. Ugh, I need that drink. Can you call Hut so it's ready? I owe you one. If you want, you can tell people I sat in your car. You could totally sell it. Remember everything pathetic that you've ever done is saved on the internet forever. Tomorrow we do our music is better. We do whatever you want. Welcome to Tony's Funhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, Lacey Jonas is in the building! Okay, we got Lacey Jonas. She's not the Lacey Jonas she was a, a decade ago, but a few people still care. Now, as long as she doesn't press charges against us, this is gonna be a win. Okay, time to offload some of this stuff. You're making two dead drops, and the third is a face-to-face -face with the buyer's people. They seem pretty paranoid, so look out for trouble along the way, okay?
Listen, I know I got into trouble on my last gig because of those things I said about immigrants, but I just want to be really clear. I was misunderstood. I like the immigrants who work for below minimum wage. They belong here. It's the ones who expect benefits and rights that I don't like. Anyway, this isn't a political show. It's a music show, please. Let's not elect another whack job. I've said my piece. We're rock and roll, baby. She lives.
Need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. It's on the way. Okay, I got stuff to do. Okay, so here's where we are. The time was a hot club brought in so much untaxed cash, we had to launder the takings or just stuff it behind ceiling panels. Now it's the other way around. We run bad cash through the registers, pay the IRS, and use the club to launder your ill-gotten gains. It's not free, but it's a whole lot better than having the IRS up your ass. Believe me. I take a small cut out of every sale you make, and you sleep well at night. Thank me later.
Hey, boss. I've been reading a lot totally about burning some love Whatever. my hair and my beautiful Look, <laughs> I got nothing against recreational hey, drug use. For a long period of my life, that was my number one recreational activity. But when we have a bunch of shady guys around town marketing themselves as our official suppliers, we got an image problem. And that, my friend, is the only kind of problem that matters. I got Johan tracking down their distributor. In the meantime, go clean them up. Our patrons are just gonna have to use an app and get it couriered in like every other civilized human being. Are we done yet? Johan's got us the rough location of the lab where these guys are getting their supplies. 
Go find it and torch it so we don't have to deal with this again for a while. You know, you remind me of an old friend of mine. No questions asked kind of style. It's a good job.
Okay, this should be about as simple as it gets. The store knows you're on route. As soon as they confirm receipt of the parts, they'll release the funds. Mm. Standard disclaimers apply. In the event that you're intercepted, everyone you've ever known will deny all knowledge of your actions. I have a duty to warn you about the potential for bad actors to have tracked this shipment. Blah, 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 blah. You know the score. services that were impossible until we lobbied for deregulation. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll bring it to you. Hello! Hey! That was rude. As a turtle hemorrhage and dies, you have killed that turtle. That's the wrong message you're sending! Don't send things free now, I'm gonna kill other things! You are attacking the world in the wrong way! Yes, you are. That's not the way to live. That is not the message to send. Like a python to 
Tony's fun house. There was a time in the 90s when I couldn't slip into the men's room without some fucking mouth breeder with a telephoto lens lying in wait for me. So when I get a call from one of our most valuable patrons saying she's been harassed by some freak show with a social media account calling himself an investigative journalist, I see red. Johan cooked up a virus that'll torch his hard drive and any cloud backups of the photos. Here's his address. Go deliver it. Thank you. 
Code Red. This little asshole has the original pics on his camera, and Johan says he's making a deal for them right now. Go wipe this shit stain and bring the camera back to me. was a great song for pulling your family out of a burning minivan. You won. You're in charge now. Finally, finally it's all about you. The self radio.
need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Coming at you. All right, I'll get back to work. This was social justice and action, my friend. I'll make sure this never sees a lot of day. Just control. 